What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Sagittarius. What's up Saggy? Thank you so much for being here. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right. So <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, let's see what's going on with the year. I'm going to pull two um, um, oracles and then we're going to clarify. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm also pulling the tea leaf deck today, which excitement for me. I don't know about y'all, um, but I love using the tea leaf deck. Okay. In the general readings, you have adjustments are required. Okay. So what you don't see coming is you're going to realize that you're going to need to make a shift. You're going to need to make some type of adjustment in a certain area um and i feel like it's gonna come like quickly like out of the blue um but your faith is being like how much do you trust the process are you gonna go with the flow or are you gonna resist okay i, I really don't feel like it's bad but i feel like because it's like drop everything and run you know that type of energy it might get you off your rocker you know and, and and i don't i don't feel like you have issues with like doing stuff like that but i feel like it's been a minute since you took in a risk or you know something like this so it's like you're it's like you're you know but you'll be fine okay all right so the first card you have is conclusions are within reach here so you see how this moon um this beautiful full moon here you can see it right you can't see the full all of it because there's like wood woods there's like trees blocking it but i feel like there's something that like you know right but it's like it, it's not it's not 100 percent clear because you can't fully see the full picture yet what is this you have sun happiness and well-being this could be with a leo it's going to bring you a lot of happiness here and you have haystack karma you will reap what you have sown so now okay so this all depends on your karma and how have you been treating people how have you been walking on this path sag because this is going to determine how this comes in for you now um you know which side of the karma scale you fall under because you know the actions and the choices that you have been making right so i feel like for a lot of you it's going to be happiness because you have the sun card here i feel like a lot of you guys are about to get good karma here um and this is about you closing out something and starting something new and you're going to get a lot more lucky than you think. And I've said this before and I will always say, I remember this one time, <laughs> bro, I don't know why. It's like when, when certain things, I don't know, I forget things, but certain things I don't. There was one time I posted a reel, right, on a love thing under Sagittarius. And I was like, you guys are really lucky. And somebody commented and was like, Sagittarius are not lucky. I'm like, well, with that mindset, you're not going to be. So... Sagittarius is one of the luckiest planets in the zodiac sign. Look it up. But you have to be walking in your truth, in your integrity, in order for you to get that luck. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just going to come because you're a Sag. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how it works, right? Bottom of the deck is the hangman. The ace of cups, the knight of pentacles, the two of wands, and the verse, and the queen of swords. This is going to come. It's like it bear, it just made it. This is this is how it feels like. I feel like it took forever. This could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or it could be a love offer from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or somebody who's really stable and committed here. But it took them a long ass time. You know what I'm saying? The Knight of Pentacles does take forever. It is the slowest night in the deck. But when he gets to his destination, it's solid. It's committed. It's expandable. You can grow off of it. So I feel like it took a long time because the universe, it's like you're going to be here for a while wherever this is you have the two of wands in the verse and the queen of swords yeah it's like i feel like it almost didn't make it that's what that energy is giving me and i feel like you're gonna have to change your perspective yeah because you could have lost faith in it and then it comes in and you're just like hold up hold up like why are you even here like you were supposed to come like three years ago why are you here right now right but i feel like you need to it's gonna help you change your perspective because you lost faith in something, but I feel like you only lost faith in it because it wasn't moving at the speed that you wanted it to be moving, okay? 
but I see you accepting it anyway with the Ace of Wands. All right. All right. The next card is be bold and make the first move here. Okay. So there's something that you have to kind of, you know, you know that you have to do something, but you have to be the first one to take the steps into doing this. What is this? Forest muddled, unclear thinking. I feel like your mind is, um, trying to talk you out of this here and skull hidden secrets can harm you yeah um are you being honest with yourself about something you have to be honest with yourself about something i feel like you're telling i feel like you're lying to yourself about something you got scorpio in your chart okay this could be about a scorpio what is forest skull and be bold and make the first move Bottom of the deck is a seven of cups. You have the death card here, a Scorpio energy. You have the eight of swords in reverse, six of wands in reverse, the page of wands and the death card in reverse. Yeah, um, I see you getting out of your head, which is good because I feel like you're realizing that this is not working out how you want to here. Um, okay. It's going to be about family or friends here or reuniting with someone. But you have to be honest with yourself and the energy. Because if not, you're going to create some type of illusion here. You know? So it's like you got to be honest. I do see you wanting to start something new or somebody wanting to start something new with you. But there's a transformation here that needs to change. Like, what is this death card? Seven of Wands in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. It's like somebody's refusing to look at something in a different way. Someone's allowing their ego to get in between the high priestess. And somebody already knows this. Somebody already knows. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. But um, it's like somebody's not changing their perspective. Somebody's not wanting to see something in a different way. They still want to go about a new beginning in the way that they feel like is right. But the way that they feel like is right is not fair for everyone involved and the way that, that they think is right is not going to be successful it's not going to work out that way it's just not so it might be Sagittarius that you have to make the first move and speak up, up, up about this and be like listen I know that a b and c or you have to make the first move and get up, up on out of there whichever it is for you okay but something has to be said here. Something has to be like, you know. Okay, the next card you have is a personal issue reaches resolution. All right, this is full moon in cancer energy. So this could be with the cancer. You can have that in your chart. I'm getting someone's mom as well with the cancer energy. Cancer is maternal energy. Some of you guys could be pregnant or you will get pregnant. I don't know. Um, there's something here that is very close to your heart, okay, um, that you need to release. And the only way to release it is to, like, trigger you is what I'm getting. What the freak? What is this? Grapes, time to go out and have fun. And rose, romance is in the air. Okay, so this is about love. Okay. So uh, what I'm getting with the time to go out and have fun is like you feel trapped or you're like bored and like you want to like put yourself out there or you want to enjoy yourself here. But it's like mm, it's it's giving something is not allowing that. And I feel like it's emotionally um, it's causing you emotional High priestess in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse. Could be this could be with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. A lot of Pisces energy. Scorpio. Um Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. <sighs> Some of y'all are just content. I feel like. Things are not growing in a love situation. I feel like things are not, someone's not going to apologize. And that's why something is not going to grow. Because if someone doesn't apologize, it's just going to make, it can't, it's like nothing could get better unless someone apologizes. 
and they're not going to. So it's like things are going to stay the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a family situation um, until that happens. Someone's not listening to their intuition here. And someone's okay with that. Someone's okay with that. So I feel like the universe is telling you, like, go do what you want to do. Go have fun. Go, you know what I'm saying? Like, go out there. Enjoy yourself here. I feel like you're beautiful. You look good. You smell good. Like, if you can't do it with this person, then do it with somebody else. You know, some friends or whatever, family member. But, like, put yourself out there. Also, for a lot of you, I don't even want to say what I want to say. But, um... Seven of Wands in reverse, Four of Swords, a Hermit, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's not going to keep their promise here. And they've already taken mad long. They've already taken a very long time. And the longer they take, the less work, the less energy. It's like the less something is growing. Someone's not removing themselves from something here. And that's the problem. They're still giving to something that is not good for them. And it's affecting the relationship. For sure. It's affecting this person's actions as well for some reason. Um, but I feel like if you, were, if you were expecting an apology from somebody with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, you're not going to get that. Okay? Um, I feel like you need to focus on yourself and just go out here. Um, you could have already left this person. Um, but... What is the sun, haystack, and conclusions are within reach? You have sea glass. Your future is being rewritten. Metamorphosis. So, yes. I feel like it took a long time and you could have made some other plans. You could have adjusted your life. You could have, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's like, it's here. <laughs> and I, it's about to be, your life's about to be rewritten here. Open up, it's okay to be vulnerable. Right, it's okay to open up to this love situation too. Whatever this new beginning is for you, this emotional new beginning, okay? Could be at work too. What is forest, skull, and be bold and make the first move? I feel like it's going to make you very happy. I really, really do. You have spyglass. Zoom in, take a closer look here. Um, yeah, it's like, are you being honest with yourself? Is this, is this person being honest with you? Like, really look at the situation here because if not, you're going to have to be bold and make the first move and either... Show this person, tell this person, like, I know what's up or um, get out of the situation because it's unclear. OK, but I'm going to take this pearl uncovering lost wisdom, hidden knowledge. And I feel like you're going to find out exactly what you need in order to make the choice that you need to make. OK, what is this grapes, rose, any personal issue reaches resolution? Man, grow, stay grounded, extend your roots and gain stability. A lot of you guys, if you're with this person, it's kind of like. A lot of you guys can be married to this person or have kids with this person. It's just kind of like put this person to the back burner right now and, and it be about you right now. Because if they're not trying to do what they need to do, then you're going to do what you need to do. Point, period, blank. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay? I feel like the universe wants you to stay grounded and, and not get crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I get crazy. I, I get crazy. I, I get crazy. I, I get crazy. Like, we know you can get crazy, Sag. You're a fire sign. We know. But let's not do that. You have will. Your voice matters. Speak your truth. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> this person is... It's, it's like this person needs to speak up. And Island, find strength in solitude. This person might be might be pushed to be alone or it's like the universe wants you to leave this person alone for a while so that they could figure out what the truth is. And I feel like you're going to find um, the strength to deal with this person or what to do with these people, this person, when you're by your, when you spend more time alone as well. These readings today have been like, what? But all right, Sad, so just all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.